Yeah, hello scrappers. A little something different today. Had a request for from a viewer, probably a subscriber, on tearing down, cleaning up these uh, pressure regulators from barbecue grills. Got a couple of the newer style valves here. And I got one of the older style. So now one thing you always want to do, check the ends. You see the magnet sticks on that piece. But on the piece of metal that got kind of crimped here, it does not stick. It does not stick there. It does stick on this one. So on this one, seeing that it sticks, not a lot of good. Now usually these, uh, I'm not sure about that one, but I know these inside are usually 18 millimeter or 19 millimeter. And that one's going to be bigger, apparently. Uh, it's that one to be a little different anyway. We've got to take it off up here. Kind of sloppy on 18. 19 is three quarter, so that one looks like 11 16 seems to fit it. It's turning, coming slow. You could probably just put a socket on there and stick it in the vise and get it off of there real quick. That one unscrews like that. And you say that's we got brass there and brass here on that end. So I'll show you real quick how I get the brass off of there. If you got it. Earbuds on, turn your volume down, or pull them out of your ear for a second. It's going to get loud. Normally I use my little pneumatic die grinder with little three inch cutting discs but these discs are the same thickness so it doesn't really matter <laughs> I just split it on each side then I get in there with a screwdriver just kind of pry it apart they pop right out so there's some clean brass <coughs> got a few little pieces there now, uh, I'm going to cut this hose off, but I'm not going to cut it real short. I'll show you why in here in a few minutes. These are already short, and that one's non existent. If I have to hold that with a needle nose or something. Yeah, like I said, now the, the threaded part on this is magnetic so I'll just uh, but the crimping part is gonna be brass I usually try to cut it on both sides opposite each other you may not have to Okay, now this one here, the crimping piece, is copper. 
and our piece here is brass. So we got the one piece that's magnetic. Cut it put in there. Now let's check our pieces out here. Here's the 18. Okay, that one fits the 18. We don't have one on that one. That one fits the 18. And that one will be the 19. So I'll get my interesting camera just had a buffer overflow. And I had to recover data because it stopped recording. So hope, hopefully uh, it didn't stop too far back, but uh, in case it did, these I determined these two here were 18 millimeter and this one's a 19 millimeter. So we got the 18 millimeter on here right now. Impact works wonders. You can probably put it in a vise maybe and uh, bust them loose with a ratchet. But if you got an impact, definitely go with the impact. Um, that one's not wanting to come out of there, so. Let's see. I'm going to try to set that on top of there. Give, give it somewhere to go. Go. And we determined this one was 19 millimeter. Well, maybe not. These these have got sides, edges like a socket. And this doesn't have anything on it. So I think what I'm going to have to do on this one, I'm going to take the angle grinder and make a cut on each side. Where I can knock that apart. I thought well, since it wasn't the 18, I figured it was a 19. Come to find out, it won't take a socket at all. It's round. So, that blade might be too small, but I might be able to crack it or break it. Oh, yes. It's far enough. So that one's just, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera or not, but it's as round as can be. There's nothing, nothing for it to get a hold of. So I'll throw those in the trash. So what I think I'll do, I'll put this in the vise, take the vise grips to it. See if I can break it loose that way. See if I can get the camera over here closer. Sorry about walking in front of the camera. Turn this monitor where I can see something. Scripts. I'll probably have to position this differently. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of.
starting to turn. I think they put Loctite on these too, so it makes it hard. Definitely the valves on the propane bottles. Well, I think that's just spinning round and round. It's not coming unscrewed. So we're going to have to end up splitting that. And uh, try to get this camera over just a little bit more. getting this piece apart you can put it in the vise and pry it up all the way around that works but it's kind of slow so it's the reason I gave one of some hose left on usually a few good whacks because I may have to use a bigger hammer and then it starts to split once it starts to split, you can usually get in there then. Clamp down on it. But once it starts to split, you can get in there and pry it apart. Get a little spring in here, magnetic piece of aluminum. You got your little regulated piece and you got a little piece under here you got I'm not sure if this is die cast in here and you got a pin right there you got to get out of there just got in there and pried up and that came out that down and see if I can unscrew the, the fitting and I might be better off if it unscrews yeah it seems to be just going round and round okay we get the angle grinder again Make a cut on top. Spin it around. Well, I may not have. See if I can get get that brass out of there. There it is. 
little bit of brute force. When in doubt, get a big hammer. Yeah. Okay, that's that's all brass. Now, I want to check something. A lot of you that have been following me for a while, you, you've seen this trick a hundred times. New, new subscribers. That looks like die cast. Tell if it's die cast or aluminum. I've got some copper sulfate here, sulfite, sulfate, something like that. It's a zep root killer. Put a teaspoon to that spray bottle. What you do, you grind your aluminum, whether it's cast aluminum, and if you spray it and it stays silver, it's cast aluminum. If it turns dark, it's die cast. If it has kind of a, a reaction and bubbles, then it's uh, magnesium. We see that turn dark. So, die cast. I learned that from uh, another YouTuber. See you scrapping. I'll try to put a link to his channel in uh, the des description below. So, I have two there that are real short. I'll go ahead and do them later. And I think I'll grab a little bigger hammer. A couple of wax and that one's already starting to split. Now that first one, whatever I did with the top to that, that was pretty thin aluminum. It was pretty light, pretty thin. This one here is a whole lot thicker. And we got something in there that's magnetic, so I'll have to try to punch that out. So let's go ahead and just set that in the bias. Kind of a homemade punch here. find out it's threaded. Interesting. Okay. It's almost completely clean. This is probably faster than unthreading it anyway. And while we're at it, I'll go ahead and Little grinder sure sounds mean when it winds up. That one turned dark also. So die cast. Yeah, if you want to take a little gander at the little grinder, little Harbor Freight three inch grinder. Just want something close for I could uh, grind it to check it. Okay, let me get you back on the vise. Just variable speed, clicks on, and it's like 10,000 10, 10, RPM. turning dark but it didn't turn dark real fast but still turning dark and I'm sure this one here is aluminum okay we'll put that in there to hold it try the diaphragm out now we got a couple screws in this one that's different okay
You never know when something's going to throw a change on you. I don't think I've ever seen one with screws in there. It's actually easier to pull the screws out and the plastic piece comes right out. Now we'll cut the brass brass off of there because I think we just have an aluminum stem coming out there. Well, die cast stem. Turn the volume down again. Here we go. Flip it over. I want to remind everybody of my Amazon affiliate page. I have different tools and uh, consumables, supplies. Another copper one. Right there. I've got cutting discs I'm using. They last quite a while. Uh, go yonder. You can get a. Got them on the website there for. There's 50 of them for about just under $27. Uh, the spice is on there. Pretty neat vice. You can rotate it over and pipes or whatever. A lot of times I use my uh, cable cutters, stick them in there, and turn the vice where the one handle rests on the workbench, and I can cut copper tubing and whatnot. So I guess we could take a, a quick count. I'll do these. Uh, I'll do these other three at a later time. This video is already getting kind of long. So, let's uh, turn our camera on. Or not the camera, but uh, the scale. I'll move this over a little more. And I'm sure you probably can't read what that scale is saying. Let's see if I can tip it. Or maybe camera pick it up. Oh yeah, I think camera's picking it up now. Yeah, I think so. Zeroed out. We'll put the brass on there first. That's probably the most weight. Ten point three ounces. A little over half a pound of brass, not too shabby. I'm not sure what die cast pays. I don't have a whole lot of it built up yet, so. 10 ounces. This probably somewhere around the aluminum price, give or take. And our copper. Point two ounces. So hey, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber, I hope that you'd uh, ask that you look around the channel and take a look at the playlist I might have to have and see what you think. See if I can see if I can earn your subscription. But, uh, try to do various videos tear down like this kind of give a weight uh, a lot of time I don't give the price because the price fluctuates all over the country it fluctuates just across town really I got a yard 15 miles from me and it, they pay a whole lot different than the yard 30 miles so I usually take it 30 miles 35 but uh, these aren't really that bad advice sure helps angle grinder helps uh, if you don't have an angle grinder, you can probably get by with a sawzall, hacksaw, you know, a cold chisel and a hammer, possibly. So, you know, if you're determined, you'll get it done. I mean, scrapping for me is a hobby. I, 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 like, I enjoy doing it. I like 
fooling with my hands and uh, I do different projects too. I'll, I'll be doing a lot more here coming up. I got some lawnmowers I want to work on. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do a lot of videos on them, but uh, I might. You know, we'll just have to see. Uh, I don't know what else I want to say. I'm just kind of rambling anyway. But uh, I guess I'll cut, call it quits on this video. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. So happy scrapping. And uh, Christmas is just around the corner. Bye-bye.